one way I'm trying to kind of stay sustainable this Christmas with my family is making sure we're not like, cooking too much food. I know the habit, uh, it's very easy to get into the habit of like cooking up all the, as many things as you can, but at the end of the day, half of that's going to go to waste. We're not going to fish it all. We're going to put it into the fridge and it's going to go to the off. So it's just making sure we're cooking like, the right amount for the people out there. And I mean, it's not like we have like, 50 people at Christmas this time. Uh, it's just a small group of us. So, so yeah, make sure we're not cooking too much. Pick your gifts specially, support local businesses, um, try not to order things from places where they use a lot of packaging and it's traveling from loads of places, one place to another. So one thing I'm actually doing to stay sustainable this Christmas is I'm actually reusing the same rack and from last year, uh, just because I don't feel there's a need to have to go out and buy some more every year. If I can reuse it, I can reuse it. So. Remember to... Um dump your Christmas tree after the Christmas when the council recommends that so then it's disposed in an appropriate way. Yes, I'm actually using the same Christmas tree as last year because uh, we don't get real Christmas trees we only need to stay with the same thing. Uh, so yeah there's no point buying a new one uh, so yeah same Christmas tree. Uh, don't overbuy things don't buy lots of stuff that you're not gonna eat or you're not gonna use. It's just Christmas and we always do that. <laughs> so just buy as many things just as you need for you and your family.